This is a wonderful, albeit may seem uh, oversimplified, study in regard to adding a nutrient-rich protein shake, in this case one designed by the researchers, to an elderly group that resulted literally in lean muscle gains without exercise, which sounds kind of fantastical. Now that could either mean a couple of different things. We don't want to add our own co-founding factors, I should say. One, obviously the shake helps stimulate and repair muscle for these individuals. Two, the elderly may not be getting enough nutrients in their diet on a daily basis, which a lot of progressive dietitians claim are not getting adequate amounts of quality protein. With that in mind, let's proceed with the study. It is a really good study overall. And the data and the protein shake and the ingredients, or I should say the ratio of those ingredients, will be listed in the following slides. But let us proceed as follows. Public citation title. Scientists developed new supplement that can repair rejuvenated muscles in older adults for the study, which was published in the journal of PLOS 1. The research team recruited two groups of men aged 70 and older. They originally looked at uh, the ways to offset sarcopenia. Results were incredible, though. One group took a protein-based multi-ingredient nutritional supplement for six weeks without an exercise regime regime regimen. So that's this is the this is the beautiful part about it. As we proceed, you'll find out how effective it actually was, which is just fascinating. While the other group took a placebo. The objective was to evaluate whether daily consumption would result in gains in strength and lean body mass in the first six weeks. Keep in mind, no exercise the first six weeks. The supplemented the supplement resulted in seven hundred grams of gains in lean body mass. Now, even though this is done with 70 year old uh, gentlemen or older, that doesn't mean they can't carry through to other parts or age groups in the population itself. But in this case, for the study itself, it focused on that one particular group. The same amount of muscle, the, uh, the same amount of muscle these men would normally have lost in a year. Six weeks, adequate protein and nutrients, reverse the muscle loss which normally occurs with aging. Reset it back a year. And when combined with exercise twice weekly, participants notice greater strength gains, especially when compared with the placebo taking counterparts. With that in mind, with those results, let's go right into the study parameters to get a little bit of our understanding of what went on. A whey protein-based multi-ingredient nutritional supplement, nutritional supplement stimulates gains in lean body mass and strength in healthy older men, a randomized control trial. I apologize from time to time for speaking fast, but I have a lot of territory to cover, and I want to try to keep it about five minutes. Funding, as you notice there, there was a minor COI, and there was regard to one of the scientists speaking for the National Dairy Council. Study participants, 49 healthy sedentary men, 70 years or older, one of the exclusions was, quote, in the previous six months, potential participants had not participated in any structured resistant or aerobic exercise training program. Study length, participants consumed either a multi-ingredient protein-based nutritional supplement, that's the SUPP for short, or control COM. Drink for 20 weeks total with no exercise in the first six weeks, as reiterated, of consumption in order to determine if the supplement itself resulted in lean muscle mass gains. Diet, daily diets were also recorded. Let's go to that slide real fast. There's the daily diets which were recorded. If you notice the primary difference obviously is the D, the calcium and the protein, at least in the supplement group. You can see other differences too, but that's the I see is the most profound overall. The reason you don't see a huge difference in the essential fatty acid section is because part of the control they gave safflower oil, which we'll get to in a second. Dosage of materials, a custom formulation, I mean, there was nothing that was currently on the market. Whey protein, creatine, vitamin D, calcium, and fish oil. There may be, but at least in this case for the scientists, they custom formulated. Methods. Subject prepare the method of beverages at home by mixing the contents of one sachet with 425 milliliters of water and consumed two drinks daily, so for at least a total of 60 grams of protein, one hour after breakfast and one hour prior to retiring to bed. Subjects measured out and consumed 10 milliliters of oil once per day, about three grams of essential fatty acids, basically 1400 milligrams of EPA and 890 milligrams of DHA. Now the control was safflower oil. Now those that follow this channel recognize that safflower oil has actually been used in clinical studies itself to reduce uh, body trunk fat as well. So that can basically uh, interject a co-founding factor or you know in a multivariate which may not have been as anticipated let's so to say all right the 12 week all right here's the the 12 week progressive exercise training program 
uh, took place. Oh, before I go, this is the formula of the shake before we get to the, the section part of the methods and towards the results. This is the formula of the shake as you see. Nothing fa tremendously fancy. 30 grams of whey protein, two and a half grams of creatine for a total of five grams of creatine per day, 60 grams of protein per day, so on and so forth. Calcium 400 milligrams, vitamin D 500, carbohydrates very low. You see the, uh, the calorie count, EPA and DHA. That's the formula listed, I'll relist that I shouldn't even say formula, I'll relist those ratios at the end of this video segment as well. To proceed, the 12 week progressive exercise training took place at McMaster University. Subjects completed twice weekly resistance exercise training and once weekly high intensity interval training itself. I will also list at the end of this video, which is very shortly, those specific training programs. So you're only looking at really at exercising three days a week. Results. In phase one, only the SUPP supplement group gained strength and lean muscle, although both groups gained strength during phase two. Upon completion of the study, upper body strength was greater in the supplement group compared to the control group. We conclude that twice daily consumption, the researchers, of a multi-ingredient nutritional supplement increased muscle strength and lean mass in older men. Increase in strength were enhanced further with exercise and training. Again, it does not mean those results could not be carried out into other or different populations, younger, maybe a little older, uh, women, as well as men. So a great study overall. Now, there are a couple of limiting factors in regard to the study. Now, this is more for the statistics part. They would have liked to have to, obviously, if you recommend or recognize the word power levels, uh, they didn't feel like they had enough of uh, participants to actually get a greater, greater confidence level in regard to strength gains, especially with the lower body. So they wanted to see at least 80 participants, hopefully in future trials, to validate uh, or basically explore those potential research outcomes, I should say. What I would like to see too overall, it would have been great if there would have been a washout period in a crossover trial, meaning the individuals which had the control eventually would have been switched and then they would have taken the protein shake themselves just to uh, confirm those results. But in any case, doing something as simple as adding a well-fortified nutritional protein shake, in this case, according to their standards or their ratios, did phenomenal results in a short period of time by literally, literally reversing approximately a one-year loss in age-related muscle decline. That's what's the best part about taking away from this research. It was simple effective and just basic. Well, that's the research as is. I'm going to post again the formula and also the exercise regime, that regimen, a regime, whatever you want to call it, that they set forth. I hope you find this information of use. I will look forward to seeing you all once again in seven days. And this is Roger Fertuciano. If I can speak today. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate you listening. I look forward to seeing you all again a little bit later on. Catch you then. Bye.